How's it going everyone? It's me with Blast Tech bringing you a brand new life story video. Now a few days ago on Twitter I asked you guys uh, what do you want to see next? I gave you two options and you guys chose the second option which was a work story where there was an accident involved. Now keep in mind the other story was a school related story and the <laughs> vote on it was pretty split. I mean I think it was like one vote between both of them. Well obviously you guys wanted to see both of them so I'm actually going to be telling you guys the second story on Friday for the uh, next life story so you guys won't have to wait too long for it so I, I do hope you guys do enjoy this one. I have more Papers, please, in the background, since you guys seem to enjoy this game whenever I play it. I see the glory greatest countries in the comments every time I play it. So yeah, let's just get right into this one. Alright, so, it was a day like any other one. I get to work, and this was at the beginning of my shift. It was earlier this year. It only happened like a few months ago, I think. And so I had started this shift like any other one. I went out on a run and took pizzas to people's houses. If you didn't know, I work at a pizza place. And my job there is to drive around the neighborhoods and deliver pizzas to people and well you kind of run into some pretty interesting people while doing it and it gives you some pretty nice stories sometimes some there are some really strange things that happen when you're out delivering pizzas but so the shift starts off pretty normal you know take out my first delivery come back nothing strange happens come back take out my second delivery nothing else happens come back and well this delivery was really close to the store. It was like a mile down the road and it wasn't really that far away. Now the delivery itself went off without a hitch. I mean, I delivered the pizza to the person, they accepted it, they paid the money, and you know, I drove away. It was a normal delivery, nothing really eventful about it. Right, so I got back into my car and I'm driving back towards the store and I'm driving down the road and you know, I'm just watching as these cars are passing me by and I notice out in the distance there's like this pickup truck with a bunch of stuff in the back. Like, if you've seen trucks that are like overfilled with stuff, like just a normal pickup truck, like not even a moving truck, just a pickup truck that people have decided like, oh I'm gonna put a bed back there, oh I'm gonna put a sofa back there, oh I'm gonna take my entire dresser back there, that was this truck. They had a ton of shit back there. Now I didn't really pay too much mind to it, but you know, I was still watching the truck as it was coming towards me, you know. I was just driving down the road, nothing really else to do. I was just listening to music, you know, relaxing, just delivered a pizza, probably got a pretty shitty tip, I don't remember what it was. But you know, at this point, I was like half a mile away from the store, so I was almost there, I didn't really care. I was just watching this truck as it was coming towards me. Now, I wasn't so much interested in the truck itself more than all the shit that was carrying in the back of it. Like, it was really an overcrowded truck. It was the definition of a truck that was packed much more than it should be. Yet, this one car was, like, driving right behind it, like, only about 20 feet back from the car. I mean, he was basically tailgating this truck. And I don't know why, I don't know if they were, like, together, I don't know if they were, like, moving some furniture from one house to another, because, you know, this is a residential area, there's a lot of houses there, a lot of people move around a lot of time. Maybe these guys were together and, you know, just heading back to their own house after purchasing a piece of furniture from, like, a garage sale or something. But so, this car is, like, right behind this truck, and keep that in mind, because as I get close to this truck, I notice that the furniture in the back of the truck is, like, shifting around a lot. I mean, like, it's kind of rocking, it's kind of bumping around with the road. And then, right as it's about, like, 50 feet away from me, I just see the dresser that was in the back of this truck. Like, a giant full-size dresser with, like, six shells on it. A massive dresser. Just tip right out of the back of the truck. It literally tipped out of the back of the truck. It was gone. They didn't have the thing tied down. They didn't have the thing restrained by anything. It just fell. It was out of the truck. Keep in mind, this was a full-on solid wooden cabinet. It was it was an entire wooden cabinet dresser. I don't know what it's called. It's just, it's just one of those things that you see in the bedroom. You put clothes in it. It had six drawers, it was one of those things, you know what it is if you've seen one. Now luckily the dresser fell out in such a way that basically just kind of tilted backwards and did like a full flip. And you know, it bounced off the back of the car instead of, you know, taking a few seconds to hang in the air. Because if that was the case, I don't think the car behind this truck would have made it, but... The dresser hits the ground, and keep in mind again, this is a full-on wooden dresser and it hits the ground going at like 50 miles an hour, it 
shatters into splinters. It is gone. It shatters. There are drawers flying everywhere. It's in pieces. I mean, they were on the complete opposite side of the road from me, you know, heading towards me, and pieces of the dresser ended up on my side of the road. That's how bad this thing exploded. Now, this car that was right behind this truck had to have felt like it was like in some sort of action movie at this point, because there was a dresser falling literally right in front of it, in front of their car. If they hit that thing, they probably would have either had some serious damage to their car, or, you know, they would have been in a hospital. But, I mean, this guy must have had the most insane reaction time I've ever seen, because as soon as that dresser hit the ground, his car was immediately turning. I think he must have fishtailed his entire car on dry pavement. He turned that wheel so quickly, and he was in the median of the road, like, almost instantly, somehow dodging all the pieces of the shattering cabinet. I don't know how he managed to do it. I would have thought that at least one of the drawers would have hit the car, but no, he managed to avoid it. All props to him. Keep in mind, this is all happening in the span of a few seconds. And you know, I'm watching this entire thing happen. I avoid like the few pieces of furniture that had ended up on my side of the road. And you know, I drive by and just like see this dresser just laying in the middle of the road. It's completely in shatters. The guy in the truck, I don't think he even noticed. He just continued driving on, didn't slow down, didn't do anything. He was just gone. He didn't even notice that he has lost one of his pieces of furniture. But so after that crazy thing, I go back to the store and tell everyone like, okay, uh, Avoid this road going this way because there's going to be a fucking dresser in the road. And everyone, you know, talks about it and we're like, how, how did that even happen? I, I don't understand. And I didn't understand either. It was kind of an insane thing to happen. But so I checked out my next delivery, went out on it, and on the way there I saw a cop that was just sitting on the side of the road, you know, speed checking people, you know, making sure no one was speeding. You know how cops in little hidden areas so that they can, uh, check and see how fast you're going and if you're going over the speed limit they'll pull out behind you and they'll you know put on the lights and give you a ticket when you're a delivery driver and you drive on the roads enough you start to learn where all those little positions are i saw one of the cars there so i just like you know pulled up next to the guy i'm like hey um you know on this one road going this way uh there's a fucking dresser in the middle of the road i just watched it fall out of some guy's truck uh may want to close down the road there, sir. And, you know, he went and checked out, and I guess, like, after a few hours, they had managed to get the entire dresser out of the road. It was all cleaned up, and everything from there was fine. I have no idea what happened to the guy that, well, you know, dropped it into the middle of the road. I mean, he, he must have thought he was playing Mario Kart, and that was his banana peel. You know, just driving by and casually dresser in the middle of the road. I don't know, guys. I, I don't trust trucks that are carrying tons of stuff in the back of them, and this is the exact reason why I don't anymore. I mean, if that happened just driving around like normally I do, I probably wouldn't be paying close enough attention to the road and most likely to recognize that a dresser just fell out of a truck and is now barreling towards my car. I would probably probably die. So yeah, uh, any truck drivers that uh, I pass your car by and try not to stay behind you as much as possible, yeah, that, that's why. Seriously, don't, don't get offended, I'd just rather not get my car crushed by a piece of furniture, thank you very much. But thank you everyone so much for watching this video, if you liked it, please hit that like button, and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button, I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. Be sure to check out yesterday's video, which is playing on screen right now, it was on the, uh, pretty overdone topic of the YouTube Terms of Service with the monetization system, what's allowed and what isn't, what, you know, it means for the future of content creators on this great website known as the YouTubes. But really, it was kind of a video meant to calm everyone down for it because, you know, it, it turned out to be something that, well, it, it didn't deserve the hype that it really got. Also, make sure to go follow me on Twitter because, you know, I do polls sometimes on there when I don't know what I want to talk about next on the channel and so I'll ask you guys what you want to see and it was like this one do I have this story to talk about or do I want to talk about this story I'll ask you guys what you guys want to hear and unfortunately it normally ends up 50 50 and I have to end up basically being like okay I guess I'm doing both this week so if you could help break those ties that would be greatly appreciated also make sure to check out these three channels listed below and make sure they know I sent you there anyways guys I will see you on the next video tomorrow as always whiplash signing out